Well, the coronavirus pandemic has seen screen time increase across the country. Many parents are looking for TV and phone alternatives, especially now school holidays are upon us. Author of the Right Brain Workout, Alex Waddleton, joins me live now. Alex, appreciate your time today. Look, I'll start with the obvious question. Why is it important to train the right side of our brain? Well, I guess it's uh, with robots and AI coming, uh, it's important to future-proof yourself. You talk about kids um, being stuck on their phones as well. Um, it's important that you can sort of think more creatively because they're the jobs of the future with robots and AI coming. So our top five natural uh, exports at the moment are natural resources, and that's a finite resource. But um, our infinite creative brain, so we've got this amazing gift and we need to sort of make sure that we continue to be creative. Uh, there's actually studies gone that 98% of five-year-old kids are considered highly creative or at junior level. By the time you're 10 years old, it's 30%. 15 years old, it's 12% by adulthood. It's down to 2%. And that's terrible. So it's kind of like being that we're all creative. We've just maybe lost touch with it. And maybe we're hoping this book can help you sort of get back in touch with that creative side and have set yourself up for the future. But also, most importantly, have a lot of fun doing it. Well, kids and I guess adults too are spending so much time in front of screens and iPhones. Why is it so important that we put down the device and look for these alternatives? Well, it's actually, I just read a, a stat in the last week. I think the average time of a teenager spent on a phone is about seven hours and 22 minutes a day. Um, and that's all that blue light and that constant stimulation. Sometimes it's good to get away from that uh, artificial light. And there's something about sitting down with a book and sort of being in a tangible manner that really opens up neural pathways. And there's research that says that by getting out a pen and paper, which you have to do with the book, with the right brain workout, you have to get a pen and paper out. You've got to do these things manually that it's going to embed more deeply into your brain and that's going to free yourself up. And it's also, you're going to be very much in the moment, like a bit of, it's a little bit of mindfulness as well, which is really good. You know, I think there's a lot mm. of mental health issues in, in, in Australia and the world because of so much time on um, social media and everything's perfect. Sometimes we just throw that stuff away, spend five or 10 minutes on your own and just do some things like that. But also what the fun thing is about the book is it is a really good sharing thing. You can sit around the dinner table with your kids like we do and do some of these questions and you'll just have some fun, <laughs> which is great. And you'll, you'll think of things that no one's ever thought of before, which is great. Well, that's my next question. I, I was looking through the book before and I saw an exercise, build a sandwich without any food. Now that just makes me hungry. What else can we expect in this book? Well, there's lots of questions. So what's the great thing about it? It's, it's 10 weeks to retrain your brain to be more creative. So there's, there's 70 questions, uh, a question a day. Each of them has been written by an amazing creative people. People like um, Tommy Little has written some questions, uh, Dave Thornton, uh, Professor Alan Duffy, people like that. And they've come up with questions like, uh, describe the new dance craze, Dunzing, or another one, which my daughter actually wrote. She's a seven-year-old and she's amazing. And with, with Christmas coming up, I think this is a great one. Uh, if Santa didn't have magical powers, describe how he would get into your house to, to deliver presents without being caught, which I think is fun. <laughs> and you sort of start to think about these things. So it's that sort of thing where you sort of go back to the mindset of a five or six, seven-year-old and you can create amazing things. I mean, like we talk about the Sydney Opera House that was designed by Jorn Wilson looking at oranges at breakfast, like playing around, mucking about has built the greatest um, building in Australia. And I think we need more of that and that can help us unlock so much, so much great stuff. I think it's such an incredible idea. Take me back to the start. Where did this book come from? Well, it actually came from when I was working in an advertising agency and a young kid came up to me and said, can you help me with my photo because I'm a creative director in advertising? And I said, oh, everyone's got the same sort of a folio. So I said, how about I just write you 10 completely random questions? It's questions like the sort of ones I just talked about. I think one of them was um, describe a designer shoot that you would use to climb up the side of a boat in 40-foot waves. And he came back with these answers a week later and it was just such amazing answers. I'm just like, there's something really cool in this. And I started talking to Russell Howcroft, who's you know, Mr. Moldy Media Advertising Businessman. And he was just like, I love this idea. And so we just sort of put it together and uh, we put it together and we took it to Penguin. Within a week, they thought this is a great idea. And we sort of were already onto the second volume, which is really cool. So it's just that about that. We have this creativity inside of us and it's kind of taught out of us. I think some people think, oh, I'm not very mm. creative. It's like, no, you are actually creative. You've just forgotten how to do it because you've spent your whole life being taught by parents, by teachers, by work. This is the right way to do things. This is the wrong way to do things. The great thing about creativity, there's no wrong answer. You can't get it wrong. And so how often do you get to do something <laughs> like that that's just fun? This, you can't get it wrong. You're going to get 100%, and that's a good thing. Positive vibes into the world as well. 
I enjoy that a lot. Look, speaking of creative creativity, you're on a creative mission at the moment to raise one million dollars. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, sure. If you can see here, uh, the million. This is the million dollar teddy bear. So I mentioned my daughter. She's written one of the questions. She uh, developed um, epilepsy a couple of years ago, and part of that was uh, Epilepsy Action Australia sent her a teddy bear, uh, which she calls Baby Bear, um, and she just loves it. Uh, it means a lot to her just to help her give some you know, comfort and warmth and stuff as she goes through this journey. And uh, the start of last year, or this year, obviously COVID hit, and that's wiped out Epilepsy Action Australia's fundraising for the year because they have Purple Day and that's held in March every year. And that fell over. So I just started thinking, what could we do to do something to help um, raise them some funds? So we've got this idea called the Million Dollar Teddy Bear. Um, and hopefully we're, we're looking for one amazing philanthropist or corporation to donate a million dollars to buy the bear, which we're calling Maximilian. Um, and we're hoping that that could be amazing because there's 250,000 people have epilepsy in Australia, which is kind of a staggering figure. It's 1% of the population. And you think about all their friends and all their family, there's probably millions of people affected by epilepsy. We have no idea what goes on, why, why it is. So we'd love someone to just step up. So if anybody knows a millionaire or a billionaire or an amazing corporation, <laughs> go to milliondollarteddybear.com. Uh, million We've got an amazing launch video that Nadine Garner um, um, narrated. It's really beautiful. It's really uh, something really important to me and to my family and to so many people around Australia. Um, it just be, a, 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 again, it's a fun thing. That's what the thing about creativity is you can have lots of fun and hopefully you can do some good for the world as well. Well, I hope Maximilian finds a nice home very soon. Alex Waddleton, author of The Right Brain Workout, thank you so much for your time today. No, no worries. Thanks for having me on. Have a great day.